Hello, precious people. I'm Jacqueline Park, and today we're outside again painting. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you around. Let's see if I can switch this so you can see what I'm seeing. So here's some really fun little flowers that I like. This bush is really awesome. It's called a firecracker bush. So I was thinking about cutting. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed. And I already found some other fun flowers to paint. Um, and even a couple figs and a fig leaf. So, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, I guess. So today I'm out in my garden and I just thought it would be a fun, fun day to do this. Oh, storm last night blew all the stuff out of the out of the pool. So oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys. So this is my setup. You know, it's pretty high tech for being out in the backyard, right? Um so basically I bought this um Band and it's for projectors and it comes with this um, phone holder um, my friend Sam gave me this phone holder so that's what I'm going to be using on here today um, one thing I forgot to get was some water so we need to go do that but um, hey we can just use some hose water right it'd be fun <sighs> Remember the days when you were a kid and you didn't want to go in the house and then your mom would make you do chores or something and so you drank out of the hose instead of going going inside. So we're gonna I don't know why this smells so nasty, but for some reason it does. Alright. I got my water. Oh, just up today, not really. It's going to be in the 90s for some reason. It's going to be so hot. But we're not going to be out here too long. I think I'm going to try and keep this to an hour or less. I think that's all that my mic can hold or charge is an hour. And basically, that should work. All right, so I got my water. And what else do I got? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my um, stand so you can see what I'm painting. And I do kind of want to zoom out. Can I zoom out? No. No. That's okay. I'll adjust it. Let's see. So these are my paintbrushes. I love this case that my friend. Dolly made me. Okay, so today we're using this Boho watercolor. And I believe it's 100% cotton. I think it's 140 pound. I don't see where it says that really. But um, it's one of those that's on a block, so you don't have to tape it. And. Um, I got my paper towels, I got my palette. I do have this white ink. I didn't get to show you last, last week how I finished up my grape painting because I ran out of time. But um, this is an acrylic ink. And there's different brands. I was gonna try them all out and do a video, um, but they're pretty much all pretty awesome. So, I just put it in here, a little drop, and use that. Um, let's see. So, um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me see if I can find, find my video that we're doing right now. So I like to look and see if Anyone is there? Oh, 
Um, no, you just gotta, you gotta be patient with me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not very tech savvy. Let's see. So I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't hear that. So now I can see if you guys comment because usually when it's above the painting surface, I cannot comment with y'all. Um, so, because I don't see the comment. So, anyways. Let's see, I want to do, I have this idea in my mind that I'm going to paint some flowers to turn into stickers maybe, because I like doing Bible art journaling, so that's one of the things that um, I wanted to kind of explore doing, like if I can paint a flower and turn that into a sticker, then y'all can buy that for pretty inexpensive, you know, two dollars maybe when I do my craft shows. Um so what I wanna do, I don't really want to draw. What I wanna do is I want to just paint this freehand and not be too um I don't want to be too what structured on it or anything. I just want to paint. I want to have fun. And that's the thing about painting. It's supposed to be fun. You guys are supposed to enjoy what you're doing. It's not supposed to be, oh, I have to make this because it's what will sell. Or I have to make this because this is what my family likes. Y'all can make whatever you want. This is, being an artist is about connecting with your, with your inner soul, I think. Like, what makes you makes you so happy that you have to create um and sometimes I look at things and I'm like oh I want to paint that so like this legit is a really pretty flower right and so I'm gonna just try and paint it we got ourselves a little bit of a breeze which is good because whoo it can be hot out here all right I'm seeing there's like a little white center Hello, little breeze. Blowing my flower away. Let me see. Um, and see, you can be as detailed at this or as little detailed as possible. But I kind of like doing this. I'm just going to do a bunch of these little flowers. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, I think you can zoom in if you want to. Um, and I will be reposting this. I'll, I'll let it be posted because I'm actually pretty prepared today. Unlike that one day where I was kind of like not sure what I was doing. All right. And see, you can vary the colors on this. You can, um, because it's not all the same color if you really look at something. And that's what I really like, too, is that sometimes you just kind of, you see these shapes. Just look at the shapes of things, and you'll see that it's super, um, super easy shapes, but they're not consistent. Like, when you look at these things, you have to notice, um, there's a lot of different shapes. I mean, there's pretty much the same petal shape, like around, but the actual flowers are different. And some of these actually have some yellow in the center, which is funny. Some don't. Some have purple in the center. And this is lantana. Y'all can see that, right? I don't know, coming out of focus, sorry. But um I'm just gonna keep doing this and having fun making these little little dots. And they kind of connect almost together and that's what's so great about watercolors. You can just keep going 
and um, it's just really pretty. And now I think I'm going to switch gears a little bit and get some green. I already have green on my palette. This is why I don't clean my palette unless it's really nasty. Um, because there's already green in there, so it would be really cool. Yeah, that's really pretty right there. And there's a couple little baby leaves starting to form. We need a little bit more of this green. And another thing about painting outside, y'all, that even with the humidity in the south, you're, you're, everything just dries so fast outside because of the, the air. Y'all see this little bug on there? I don't know if that's an ant. I don't know what that is. Let's see, don't paint the whole leaf. Leave some white. It's really good to do that because. I know there's going to be some greens in here, too. Um, it's not everything is going to show up. But then I do notice there's a little dark side on that, a little shadow. So I add a little bit of red to my green to get that shadow. Um... And some more here. Just having fun. Just enjoying the process of creating something. Well, that breeze is super nice. Alright, so I think I did that pretty cute and quick. I don't know if I have bug juices on there, but um, let's see. Next flower I found was this, and I think it's a vinca. And I really want to try and paint this. No, I did not squeeze any paint, <clears throat> but sometimes you can make pink with your purple and your red. And I don't know, I don't really have a pure red right here. Let's see if I can wash that off and do that. All right, so see, even though sometimes that gets a little dirty, it's okay. And the thing that makes pink that's so pretty is um, you have that um, white paper underneath that helps make it. Oh my goodness, there's some kind of green little critter. Look at this sucker. Go away. He's not really wanting to go away. That's fine. All right, let me see if I can paint these petals. So I'm looking at the shape while I'm doing it. And I'm just trying. Sorry about that noise. I don't know what's going on over there. It was quiet earlier. They're probably like, you know what, she's trying to do a live video, so let's just start up our power tool. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm just going at this, so we're just going to have to do what we can. Oops, I think I totally was guessing on that one. see add a little bit more water if you're struggling um, that helps me to make things a little more loose um, and see I did not leave that yellow center which is kind of important I guess I don't know no one's gonna really see this flower but if you forget to do something you can always go on in there Dab it out. Now, I do like this color yellow, I think, is what it is. 
and see if we can make this add button. And then this can go back. And I like how that spreads. Let's keep adding. And you don't have to be perfect. Nobody needs to be perfect. This is fun. This is not supposed to be realistic. Um, and make everything look perfect. Because that's not even what life's about. It's not about being perfect. It's about doing your best and having fun. Um, and encouraging one another. Let's see. That's an interesting looking flower, I think. There. Now, you can lighten some things. You can lift off. You can blend it a little more with your water and your brush. Um, so you can do that. Um, what else do I have? I actually brought some of my gladiolas. They're starting to bloom and they're so pretty. Look at these gladiolas. Can you see that? I really love this. Oh, so pretty. So, I don't know where I'm going to put these guys. Maybe put them right across here. Because that would be, that would be pretty. And I do have that nice deep red. Um, so, sometimes people draw things and it makes it so that they're um, more, more accurate. And you can do that if you want. Um, I think what I'm going to do is hold this at more of an angle, maybe. I don't know. I want to hold it straight up and down. Maybe I want to paint it from, like, the top. That would be kind of pretty. Maybe we'll try and paint it from the top. Let me see how that looks. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of gorgeous. Um... I might have to make it a little smaller too. I'm just going to start putting some red. Ooh, no, that did not turn out good. Sometimes my red is dirty. Let me clean that out. And just go around, make some more petals. And see, right now, what I'm looking at is not a lot of definition. I'm going to shorten this just a little bit. I'm running into my, my other flower. But that's okay. When you're painting, you can change things up and make them however you want. It'd be super pretty. And I did bring out my white ink, so maybe we'll get into doing that a little bit too today. I didn't get to really show y'all how to do that. These flowers are very 
Um, they have some real pretty definitions, kind of. Little bug. Oh, away. They're like this little wrinkly part. Oh, I'm glad that power tool or whatever it was went away. And see how I'm just adding these little details, just kind of these little ruffles. And I'm going to go in there with some more um, details as it dries. And it's drying fast, let me just tell you. Um, um, but there's like um, the little stamens in there. And I think they've got more of an orange color to them. And like I said, we're just kind of having fun here. We're not doing anything serious. It's not brain surgery. It's painting. <laughs> um, always impressed that people can do brain surgery. We need those people in life. Now, on these petals, I can see a lot more um, shadows. And definition in there, so I need to tap in there and just kind of make it whatever and try and get that to do something here. Um, see, now I'm going to put in the aquamarine and it's going to have a little bit of yellow. And so there's like a leaf. And then this part has a little bit of green in there. Yeah. Needs to have a little definition. Almost like there's a little bit of red on some of that green. There. So yeah, that's kind of pretty. I like that. Um I got this fire stick stuff. Um These are kind of cool. I think it's going to start wilting because I cut it. But we're going to mix some oranges now. Let's see. With that yellow. Can you all see what I'm mixing? Let me move my water. Let's see. I was watching this lady, I think her name's Ellen Prim. I'll have to look it up. But she was painting a bunch of flowers and they're just so pretty. Um I really like just watching how how she was doing that. Um and it was just really uh simple stuff. Um she wasn't being real detailed she's just painting and having fun so i'm kind of trying to do that just paint and have fun so right now there's a lot of these little little doodads oh and i know there's some 
yellow in there, but this is what I'm going to try and do if I can work fast. Um, is paint some of these orange stems. get those and it kind of quickly now I'm going to add a little bit of red in there I really want to add some red straight in there um, Let's see what happens when I touch that in there. That looks like that right color. I kind of like that. And I do have to be careful. There's some yellow in there that I don't want to cover up too much of. And I'm going to put that in there as well. There might be one there. Um, one there, one up here, up here, I hear the airplanes now. I mean, it is noisy in the backyard, isn't it? Um, at least today. Some of these little guys aren't even opened yet. They're like around centers or ends. Little ends are round. And I do kind of like how at the bottoms they have these. And they have these little bumps here. So, I don't know what you guys are doing with your summer plans. We're just chilling today. My husband's off. He's fiddling with his boat. Um, I was preparing to do this. I need some green leaves in there, but I think I had some of these. We had some of this bluish green in there. I don't know the technical names for all this. But I like kind of that color green. Pretty. So now we're going to have some leaves. the stem oops, has some of this red in it and right in here there's the stem um, I want to go back and do some more yellows in here and some more oranges in here and now I'm like feeling it needs a lot more It looks a little bigger. And see, now you can tell I'm getting kind of this thicker paint. Less water. And that's quite all right. You can do that. So there's different ways of painting, different styles of painting, even with watercolor. You can do real dry on wet, or I mean wet on dry, or you can do
head on wet. Just learn what your style is. Because eventually you're going to enjoy a certain style more than others. And that's kind of what you need to try and figure out by practicing. I feel like there should be some more blending in there. And sometimes you just want to splatter some stuff in there. Um, okay, now I want to do some more of that green. And as you can tell, now we're getting some shadows and sunlight on my page from the sun moving. I mean, the, yeah, the sun moving across everything. So that ends up making this plain air painting stuff kind of more difficult. That's okay. And so I have painted a fig leaf before. I think they're really pretty. And look, I, I picked some of my figs. Um, I ate a couple yesterday that were super yummy. Um, but that might be pretty to paint. Um, so a lot of times trying to mix a color bright is what can be difficult. Ugh, silly little leaf. And sometimes when you're trying to paint something, it just blows away. So that was not fun. Um, I don't know. Put that right there. And maybe a rock. Um, so yeah, just going to make circles. I don't feel like I kind of want to do the stem. Birds are complaining. They're like, give me back the fig. And these figs have a little bit of a lumpiness on them, so... I was trying to pick some that were more uh, right. You have that pretty coloring. And this one has kind of like this cut stem. Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm painting. That's so sad. Okay, let's see if I can move this just a little bit. Um, there we go. Oh, man. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking at these figs, and they've got some... Got some strange coloring in there. And I'm trying to build it up. I'm not doing this. I'm mixing the colors on the palette, which is kind of more more fun. You don't want to get this all nice and wet, and then I can add. Some 
that in there. I don't know if you can zoom in during a live, but I know afterwards I think you can. But I like figs. You guys like figs? Okay, there you I like it when they're um, preserved in. And some sugary syrup. Always fun and yummy. I like a jam. I've had people come over and just pick a bunch of figs off our trees when they're so full of figs, which are getting getting to be. Let's see what else I got here? Put some more of these lines in there. Like. So what are you trying to get that curvature of the fruit? Um, I'm trying to get this so that it's looking, looking good there. Um, it is super wet now because I was like I'm trying to get it to be wet and it wasn't wet enough. And now it's like too wet. That's why I say just play around and practice and enjoy the process. Sometimes you can just dab some of these colors in there and just watch, watch what happens. Um, I don't know, you think there's a little purpley color in there? Maybe a little bit. Kind of fun to do that. Sometimes you can use your browns, but I like to mix colors. So I think this fig's supposed to be a little bigger. I'll make him bigger. So it's kind of a shadowy side. And like underneath that is a definite shadow. And on this one as well. And then there's green, green leaf. Um, I think it has a little bit more of a darker tinge in there. There we go. It does have a yellow stem. Putting in these leaves. I don't know, I'm not painting the rock. The rock's only there to keep that from blowing away. Oh, I'm not really able to see what I'd like to see, but. Uh, 
I'm noticing the edge of that leaf is very ripply. And then there is going to be a stem. And this leaf is coming out. See how that dried, that harsh line kind of there? I need to wiggle that out. I'm not trying to be perfect here. I'm just trying to get a sense of leaves and things. This is kind of my blobby, blobby leaves. And then I think there's definitely some yellow in that. Yellows in here. And you can do as much detail of this as you want. Do too much. I actually want to break some of that. I don't want all that, want all that either. Do that. Now, I need to go back in with the big scissors. I need to be darker. I already got the base color, so now just layering on top of that won't make won't be too hard to make it look more pinnacle. Remember, keep looking at what you're painting. You don't want to try and do remember what you're painting. You want to actually see what you're painting. That nice and dark. Add a little more red in there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Make it just nice and dark. And the light keeps changing, which happens when you're outside. My shadows aren't going to stay the same. There's definitely a shadow under here. And some green. More green. And there's a little yeah, yellow. Highlighted in different areas. Always keep a paper towel in your hand so you can like dab, dab out some of those highlights. Now I'm getting some sunshine on this part. I don't know if that's what I want. Okay. How long have I been doing this? It's probably some time. That's 
1045. So I got about five minutes. Um, yeah, I kind of like just doing, doing that and letting it kind of bleed out a little bit there. Um, more of that green in there. Do green. My back's not super pretty, but I'm probably going to have to wait for it to. I'm going to have to wait. Some of the stuff about, about all this that makes me just kind of having the patience to let it wait and fight. Um, if we can get some more dark shadow under here. And then some shadow on these leaves. more dark on here to bring out those veins in the leaves. It's really can be sometimes challenging, but we don't challenge ourselves. We don't grow. So it's super important to keep pushing and trying new things. I like this kind of got a little something there. And see, sometimes it just you can deviate from what you're seeing too. You can just start doing what you want to do. You know, it can make it a better painting that way. If that's what you want, I mean, this is yours, right? A lot of times we paint because we wish we could paint, and that's then we get frustrated. We can't do exactly what we saw or what we envisioned in our mind. And see, that's when I think the enemy tries to tell you that you're not good enough and you give up. But I actually taught myself how to do watercolor while I watch YouTube, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to start my own channel and kind of come back and and encourage people and say, hey, you can do this. I can do it, you can do it. And so for me, it's just kind of coming back and letting y'all know that you can do this too. You can definitely have fun. The wind is just so blowing. It's just nice. The breeze. I don't know. Can you guys hear me? I think I lost my mic. Um, hopefully I didn't die. Last time it started blinking and I was like, oh no, it's not going to stay charged. And now I want some more of these nice little streaks in here. More red, more orange. And see, these streaks are not perfectly equal. That's what's so interesting about these fruits. You just kind of are 
hard just learning what they really look like by watching, taking your time. And just, just letting your eye observe. This fig is looking super good. I'm liking that one. Um, still think it's got some needs. Needs something. What does it need down here? A little like circle or something. I think it's just too wet still in there. Sometimes I just get every color. You see what I'm doing here? Getting all these colors. That's kind of why I like hand paint so much. I think because I can really um, spend more time just mixing them together like that, and I don't have to mess it up. That's Put some things gray in there. I need that color. That's what I need. Let me give this one some more mission. So my pigs are looking pretty good. I think I like them. And I could even add a little bit of green back in there. Some yellow. A yellowish green. No, now I'm fiddling. This is like when you're like, you've gone a little far and now you're ruining it, right? All right, I don't know what happened to my flower. Oh, here. So going back to this one, I think what I could do is show you guys just real quick how I use this white ink. Because I do want to show you. I just squirted a bunch in there. And I don't normally use the same brush for this white ink um, because I don't know if it's really good for your brushes to use it. Because this is acrylic paint, it's not watercolor. So basically, what we can do is go in do that. And um, that off, and you can really like get kind of pretty doing that. See, I'm not even looking, but basically, you can just have fun with this. You can use it to make highlights on top of there. You can use it to highlight some of these um, gems. Make some. Can use them to put little dots in here. Um, so really, this is something could be great to use if you wanted to um, do that for these little salmons. Highlight some stuff here. Add some right there. Um, 
get like a nice little ridge going right there. And it has some like little white dots. Some of these have like little white dots. I don't want too thick of a white line in there. Let's see, that's what's so great. And now, if you're adding some acrylic paint, you might have to end up calling it a mixed media art piece. Um, but that's okay. You can mix as much as you want in with your different, different things. Um, let's see if I can do some highlighting on that. See, now there's a shadow. Sun went behind a cloud. So now I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Let's see, I don't want too much of that white. So now I'm going to lift it up and blend it in. See that? Ooh, it's looking kind of pretty now. And I can always go back in with my shadow. Remember, shadows aren't black. Shadows are more of a whatever colors are around them. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, I could do some shadow under that. And I do like to. backgrounds. These aren't really, this is not a completed painting. This is just having fun. I don't even know if I will make um, what I told you guys, stickers out of these or not. It's just kind of plain. Like that might be able to be. Um, again, we're just having fun and doing this for the pure enjoyment of doing it. My leaves are fully wrinkled, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I guess you guys didn't have any questions today, which is okay. Um, I've just kind of enjoyed doing this, and I hope it's been an encouragement to you as well, because that's what we're here to do is encourage one another. And um, so I just wanted to... Um, give you some words from the Bible that might be encouraging and uplifting to you. Um, <clears throat> since we we're painting flowers, I was like, okay, I gotta find a passage about flowers, right? So Isaiah 40 verse 8 says, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God endures forever. And then in first Thessalonians 5 11, it says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So, I hope this has been an encouragement to you. I hope you have enjoyed watching me paint, and um, I hope you have a blessed day.